one of the things I mentioned to you a little bit earlier is the show last year went on to four and a half hours, which is just too darn long for any show, but especially one that's geared toward older audience, shall we say, as ours is. Not that there's not plenty of stuff for the kids, but you know, if you look at a, the acts of artists, it's it's it skews towards an older demographic. The Sylvie is a glorious venue, perfect for what we do, except for the fact that there's only about 150 seats in a 2,500 seat venue or capacity venue. Everybody keeps wanting to come back, which says something that we're doing something right with the venue. All of our artists, and we always try to add new artists every year, and we've added a couple. We can't keep adding artists be, and not do something to change the format, but we also can't have these artists, as I mentioned earlier, that come in for four and five days and then come and play you know, one song. Not that anybody has ever complained because not one person has ever complained about not having enough of a role at Joey's song, but I also want to be respectful. What we're expanding to is a series of full band shows in the week leading up to it. And the Freezing Man is a takeoff on Burning Man. We were trying to come up with a way to brand the festival that's lighthearted and plays into the Wisconsin in January. And there's not one Wisconsin native that wouldn't recognize what Freezing Man is. So we're going to do a whole bunch of shows. And while the it's not a thousand percent solidified between the Sylvie, the High Noon, and the Majestic that week leading up to it, we're going to have sets by Soul Asylum, Portugal the Man, a version of the Bangles with Debbie and Vicky, uh, Letters to Cleo, Belly, the Know-It-All Boyfriend, Silver Sun Pickups, Laura Jane Grace, and local hero up there by you, Kenny Hoopla, is going to be doing a set as well. There's a few other things we're, we're working on as well, but that's what Freezing Man is going to evolve into. It's going to be more of a festival, so then... All of these bands and folks that would join us on Saturday will still join us on Saturday, but then it'll just be the all-star jam, but they'll have had a chance to play full sets and kind of flex their musical muscles. So that's that's the idea. By September 9th, we should be able to announce who's playing with who and when, but right now that's kind of the conglomeration that we're looking at.